Samsung will release the Exynos 2200 chipset in a few months, as the successor to the Exynos 2100, currently powering the Galaxy S21 series. We have earlier reported about the leaked benchmark score of the Exynos 2200's MRNDA GPU which showed 40% performance boost. But that was reportedly peak performance, one of the major issues with recent flagship Exynos chipsets has been their sustained performance, and according to new information, that may still be an issue on the Exynos 2200. This info comes from the popular leakster Frontron, who revealed a series of benchmark scores of the Exynos 2200 and its MRDNA GPU, which still shows weakness in sustained performance. The Exynos 2200 shows about a 25% drop in performance by the third round of benchmarking, dropping from 170.7 FPS in peak performance to 127.5 FPS on the Manhattan test in sustained performance. That drop in performance is mirrored in other GPU benchmarks like the Aztec Normal and Aztec High tests, where it dropped from 121 FPS to 70 FPS and from 51 FPS to 39 FPS respectively. While this may not sound impressive, it's a big improvement compared to previous generations of Exynos chipsets. The Exynos 990 on the Galaxy S20 routinely saw performance drop, upwards of 50% on sustained runs. There's also the fact that these benchmarks were run on beta drivers, so the final implementation of the Exynos 2200 should be better. So guys that's pretty much we have here for now, we would love to know your thoughts on this. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative, and if you did, hit the like button and stay subscribed for more.